Let's talk about tractor draw bars for a minute here. In two minutes or less, crash course. I'm talking about this draw bar, sometimes called the straight draw bar or the swinging draw bar. If you have different names you use in your area, post it in the comments below. That's different than a cross draw bar that goes from lift arm to lift arm. This would be the straight draw bar for pulling the implement. Uh, this one's on a Massey 1080. There's a little bit of a, uh, a dip here, and that uh, can be used if you reverse it, then suddenly it's a little climb, just depending on the height of whatever you're pulling, if you need a little different height rather than just being straight, perfectly straight. Um, this piece here is removable. Uh, we call them hammer straps, and uh, that's so that if your implement is a, a flat piece, it goes in here, and if your implement is a is a C shape and is going to go around just the draw bar, then you can unbolt this, pull it off. Your implement does the job there. It's called a swinging draw bar uh, because in some applications you unbolt these and allow the draw bar to float in this slot here, side to side, so that as you're turning with your implement. It uh, gives it a little bit of play, so it's not quite so rigid on things. Sometimes you have to swing it out of the way and bolt it out of the way if you're using the three or the uh, PTO, and it'll hit it as it goes up and down. Sometimes you just have to completely remove it, unbolt it way up underneath, and get it out of the way. Other considerations for the straight draw bar is uh, depending on your your PTO shaft as it flexes in and out uh, you'll you need a certain amount of length here and so there's different holes along there that you can choose how far to bolt it in and how to use it so if you got any different names for hammer straps or straight swinging draw bars let me know